Well, love it or hate it, X Factor fever is gripping the nation. And with the live finals this weekend, it's all very, very exciting. And of course, one question everybody asks everybody, and I've certainly been asked it, is who's your favourite? Who's your favourite voice on the X Factor? Well, mine is somebody that you may well not know as Peter Dixon, who is the most well-known voiceover man in the country. Indeed, Peter joins us now, and he's from Northern Ireland. Welcome to the show, Peter. Hello. Yes, indeed, I am from Northern Ireland, though not that you'd know it from these... Uh, all the well-rounded vowel sounds you're listening to now. But yes, I grew up in Northern Ireland. I can certainly revert back to uh, the province where everyone overemphasizes words and emphasizes the prepositions like to and in. And <laughs> <laughs> you, must, you must absolutely love it's your time job. to face the, uh, the X Factor. <laughs> <laughs> what a voice. It must be absolutely uh, incredible. How, how would you do it? Well, uh, how do I do? How do I do the the, the voices? Well, yeah. I've been I've been a voiceover artist, uh, a voice actor, if you like, uh, for um, oh, I think it must be now on to nearly I uh, dread to think thirty seven years. Uh, I started at the BBC in Belfast, which is where uh, I started my career. I still have great fond memories of working there. Um, and uh, then I moved over to to London to a work uh, for nine glorious years at Radio Two, where I was uh, a Radio Two announcer, announcing uh, a news reading for uh, the Radio Two network. Work. And uh, while I was there, I also worked a little bit for uh, Steve Wright on Radio One. And uh, then I went freelance. And I've just ever since uh, uh, 1980, oh, no, actually 1991, I think it is, I, I went completely freelance. I've earned my living um, as a voice artist. And I absolutely love what I do. It's a great job. I always say I've got the best job in the world. Absolutely. Because you must get an incredible reaction uh, from people. I mean, do you ever play tricks, you know, when you're, you're phoning up and ordering a pizza and you just put on oh, a voice? No. I've never actually done that. No, I'd, I'd be too embarrassed. But I did actually. I was walking down the Strand in London uh, a few weeks ago, and I heard two, two or three lads in front of me were doing me uh, to each other. You know, they were they were doing my voice in the middle of the street, and I was so tempted to go over to them, but I was late for an appointment and I had to had to walk away. But it was one of those moments. I thought they have no idea I'm right behind them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's incredible because everybody has a go at doing it, don't they? Peter Dixon, you know, That's everybody right. can't help it. <laughs> Uh, it's a, just an absolutely fantastic voice there. and I mean, we are talking about the X Factor, of course. We've got the live finals uh, over the weekend. What kind of preparation do you do for the finals? Well, I gargle with uh, whiskey and razor blades half an hour before. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. No, I, uh, there's nothing really you can do other than just try and keep calm, you know, and, uh, and also, you know, just look after your voice. Because this time of year, the winter, you know, with so many colds going around, it's a nightmare for voiceover artists and you know, people who use their voices like singers. You've just got to keep away from people who are sneezing or too, obviously, and... Uh, I'm I always washing my hands religiously all the, all day long because apparently that's the best thing you can do to stop getting a cold. I don't know why. But <laughs> I wash my I wash my hands a lot, like a lunatic, and uh, you know just keep warm, keep the keep the old v v vocal cords tuned up and warmed up, and plenty of water. That's the other key: is drink drink lots. Of was, water, unfortunately, not whiskey. <laughs> <laughs> or razor blades, not a good idea. But, yeah, no, I mean, no, you, no. you don't just do the X Factor voices, all sorts of voices. Can you tell us about some of the other characters you play? Because you're a bit of a James Bond without the passports, aren't you? Oh, I've never heard that one before. That's a good uh, <laughs> analogy. Uh, yeah, I do um, uh, lots of different voiceovers for different things. From uh, I do a lot of computer games now. I was, uh, I've done uh, lots of, uh, from World War II pilots to zombies. I was in Fable, Fable 1 and Fable 2. I'm the voice of Connect Sports as well. Um, uh, I do uh, lots of animations, uh, cartoons, shows, you know, the Ooglies, uh, the Heads, BBC, uh, BAFTA award-winning programmes like that, shows, uh, corporate uh, events, and, of course, big TV shows like uh, like The X Factor, The X Factor, and oh. all-star family fortunes and... Uh, and uh, Loads of different things, and, and, and all sorts of a bit, a bit of everything. I guess uh, impersonating the boss was might, maybe something you did uh, when when you were younger, but we won't talk I about did. that. I did, and we when I was even you know, before I worked, I used to just do, do impressions of uh, of, uh, of teachers and things like that. You know, to get laughs in, in school, and um, oh, well, I would do do all sorts of different things with my voice. That's where I really got into. It. I loved radio, you see, in the early days, and I still do. I have a passion for radio and for for the spoken voice and the, the theatre of the mind, as they call it, absolutely, which is uh, which is you know wonderful, and of 
course, the, the, the biggest, there's the biggest show on earth, I think, anyway. A massive, massive X Factor fan is going to be this weekend. Um, who's been your favourite contestant to announce over the years? I mean, there's, uh, you've been doing it for about ten years, haven't you, since the, the, the show started? That's right. Uh, nine years is the ninth season, and without doubt, over all those nine years, uh, my most favourite voice uh, name ever to shout out must surely be Rachel Adadeji. <laughs> There's something about that name, Rachel Adadeji. Six syllables. Anything over five syllables is great. Uh, so Christopher Maloney. Yeah, he just about gets there. Jermaine Douglas. That's four. James. Ah, uh, James Arthur. That's just three, but yeah, I think anything over five. <laughs> <laughs> so it's, it's, I, actually, I once introduced the Black Eyed Peas. I think it was three years ago, and uh, the producer came up to me afterwards and he said, "Your your introduction to the Black Eyed Peas was longer than the act itself." <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it must be great fun to do. I could just imagine you waking up and doing the voice and just, uh, you know, waking up with all the energy in the world. It must be absolutely incredible. Absolutely. And, uh, you know, you can be part of uh, the, the X Factor now yourself. Uh, I've just been playing with this fantastic app on, online, uh, Pepsi Max. I don't know whether you know, but uh, Pepsi Max is a partner of the X Factor Live final this year, which uh, uh, is going to be the most viewed event on TV of the year. Um, Perhaps the Olympics would come a close second. Um, and uh, uh, what they've done is, uh, at pepsi.co.uk, they've um, created this fantastic app, giving you the chance to uh, to create your own X Factor intro right live online. They've got the music, they've got the lights, they've got the graphics, uh, they've got a picture of you, which you can upload from your Facebook page. And uh, they've also provided on there um, my voiceover. with uh, And you type your name in, and I shout your name out as well so you get the whole x factor opening sequence with your f your picture of you and my voice shouting your name it's a fantastic app and it's free as well which is brilliant so head on over to pepsi.co.uk and click on the uh, on the link and you'll find yourself the star of the x factor 2012 oh well wow. so it's not even a competition you just go on there put your name in and out it comes yeah. Oh, and if you haven't got awesome. Facebook or if you've got an iPhone, go to the Apple App Store. There's a, there's a brilliant new app for this series that the X Factor have launched called X Factor VoiceOver Man, the X Factor VoiceOver Man, where you can create an unlimited number of unique sentences using my name as well, which is uh, using my voice rather, which is brilliant. So you can have me say all kinds of things and post the finished uh, sentence to Facebook or Twitter or send it to your mates via email. Oh, that sounds like yeah, such really, really good. Such good fun. Let's just get that website one, one more time. Yes, it's pepsi.co.uk, and click on the link, and it'll take you to uh, to the page where you can create your own X Factor opening. Excellent. Well, Peter Dixon, I, I just can't help wanting to say that the, it, it in X Factor style. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Peter Dixon. That's right. <laughs> Thank you so much uh, for joining us today. Thank you very much indeed. Don't forget, it's The X Factor Live, Saturday, 8pm ITV1, and Sunday at 7.40 on ITV1. Gotta love it, gotta love it, thank you.